Loin d'abord. Surprise. Lining up. Hi guys, welcome to a little product introduction and video review on a pretty cool little item. What you have in front of you is the Gamo. This is the PT85. Now this is a semi-automatic pellet pistol. Really nice gun. I, uh, I like it. It's actually pretty great. Um, design wise, it is pretty straightforward. A really nice little air gun. Uh, pretty heavy when you hold it. It is a full size pistol. Um, looks similar to a full size semi-automatic handgun. Um, the slide is metal, the bottom half is plastic, you have metal components throughout the gun, uh, the hammer's metal, trigger, safety. Uh, the safety on this side is real, there's a fake looking safety on the opposite side, uh, that's not real, doesn't move or nothing. You have your magazine release, and the magazine is actually pretty cool, uh, we'll get to that in a second. First off, with the gun, uh, to take it off a safe, you have to pull back on the little pieces right here in the middle. There's three little sort of tabs. Uh, they're all connected. You pull back on that and you push up and you take off the safety. Now if the gun is cocked and you put the gun on safety, you actually push it down a little hard and it'll decock the gun and lock the safety into position. You won't be able to move it, swipe it, or push it any way, shape, or form into the fire mode. You actually have to pull that little tab back and then push it up. And uh, that's actually a really nice safety. Now the sight picture on it is really great. Uh, it has a little three dot sight and works really well. Now the blowback on this isn't that crazy as you would think. It uh, goes less and less as the CO2 cartridge empties out. First off, it's it's not like a real gun. Um, the blowback on a real firearm is a lot more violent uh, with this. It's It does hop a little bit which takes you off a target and uh, you got to realign and so readjust with it. So that's sort of similar to a, uh, a real handgun but nothing uh, as violent as a real handgun. So with that CO2 cartridge goes in the back, you pull off the back piece. This is a really nice <laughs> design system. Um, you pull this little tab down, really sturdy piece of metal. You place your CO2 cartridge in there and twist this really tight and fast. You won't have even. I didn't even have any bleed off on this. It just pierced the uh, the CO2 and sealed up really nice. So that's really great. I like it a lot. Really nice design job. Um, you place this piece back down, and then you go ahead and put that like that, and you're good to go. Um, like I said, it looks like a uh, semi-automatic handgun. You want to be real careful if you're going to use this out in um, open area where other people can see you especially because it has this sort of look of uh, maybe a 9mm or 40 caliber barrel um, be careful with it and uh, don't you know don't uh, do anything stupid you don't want to get shot so with that um, it does take several different types of pellets uh, the flat nose the uh, the pointed tips and the rounded I all shot through this gun uh, it has then the magazine has this little cylinder on the top which you rotate and you place your pallets in go ahead and load them front to back and then place it into the gun and you get eight shots out of one of these little cylinders uh... you have two of them on the magazine so you can pull it out flip it around stick it back in and you got another eight shots fire it as fast as you can it works really well um, with the blowback like i said it's not going to be you have to readjust and uh... it's a very accurate gun though really nice now, the only drawback that I had with this gun was that it's not that powerful. Um, I have another gun that is a little bit more powerful and it's just a standard PB gun. But like I said, other than that, it's a really nice pistol. This would be great for maybe indoor use if you have a little indoor range, maybe in the basement or wherever. Um, this would be perfect for that because it's not going to pierce metal too much. Now with regular cans, aluminum cans, this thing is devastating. It takes out aluminum cans like nobody's business, punctures them really well, tears them up. Um, when it comes to like a soup can, um, you can see there's a couple of holes here. Those are actually from my other gun, uh, my BB gun, the uh, C11. That they uh, were both shot at the same target, um, a brand new CO2 for both guns, and my BB gun uh, actually pierced the can. The uh, the gamo just dented the can. 
and it didn't really go through at all but it did dent up the can pretty nicely um, I do have another target that I could show you this is a, a lid to a paint can and you can see that the, uh, the C11 uh, BB gun went through it um, at the same distance the gamo did not so it's just a little underpowered but you know I can't really compare it to the C11 because the C11 I actually have it here uh, it actually has a little bit longer barrel um, because of that you get a higher velocity out of the round uh, I've seen the gamo with a little bit longer barrel and if it does, does have a little bit longer barrel you probably get a little bit more impact out of the uh, pellets than you would on the short barrel version so maybe check out the tactical one uh, it might work a little bit better for you if you're really interested. Like I said, a straightforward, really great design. Um, one of the big things that I really liked about this gun is that it really has a nice designed rail on the bottom. Uh, this rail, actually, I, I used the uh, Crossman laser and mounted it to the gun. Works fine, doesn't move around and stuff. Um, you can use it and then uh, use the laser in conjunction with the weapon or use a light. Uh, so it's a really nice pistol really nicely made but like I said a little underpowered for me um, any questions feel free to ask you guys have a good one be safe take care and uh, if you can please subscribe and I'll talk to you soon